Good evening, everyone. I'm Kamen Enchev. Former eighth overall pick Jake Locker is healthy, but the Titans have decided to stick with their sixth-round pick rookie Zach Mettenberger, and that's proven to be a good decision. In his first three starts, he's averaged 247 passing yards per game. Locker played in three full games this year and went over 247 passing yards just once. The Titans took on the Eagles and Mark Sanchez. Opening kickoff, it wouldn't take long for Philly to get on the board. Josh Huff starts from his own end zone. He has a 107-yard trip to get into the other end zone. On his way there, he stiff arms the kicker. The defensive player has an angle, but how about another stiff arm? As Huff heads to the house, just 13 seconds in, the Eagles are already up 7-0. Opening play of the second quarter, Mettenberger is going to go down the field. It's going to be tipped, but Justin Hunter's got his eyes on the ball. He catches it off the tip and goes into the end zone for a 40-yard touchdown. Tennessee trail 27-17 at the half. Mettenberger threw for a career-high 345 passing yards, but the Titans' defense just couldn't stop Sanchez and the Eagles. Sanchez finished with 307 passing yards. The Titans lose 43-24 to drop the 2-9. Former Razorback QB Ryan Mallett and the Texans hosted the Bengals. Opening quarter, Mallett's going to step up in the pocket here, break a tackle, and he's going to hit Andre Johnson for a 14-yard reception. Andre Johnson now becomes 10th all-time on the reception list, passing Randy Moss. Later, Mallett with another strike, but he actually struggled today. He only completed 21 of 45 passes for just 189 yards, which included an interception. Jeremy Hill had 87 rushing yards in a touchdown as Cincinnati wins 22-13. The Rams are taking on the Chargers right now. Janoris Jenkins had a 99-yard pick six, but St. Louis has gotten no hope from his offense. The Chargers lead at 2017 in the third quarter at last check. On to America's team, the Cowboys had a much-needed bye week, allowing for Tony Romo and company to get healthier for tonight's NFC East rivalry game with the Giants. The Cowboys have started the season 7-3. and three. Meanwhile, the Giants are 3-7. and seven. Dallas has won three straight games over New York. If the Cowboys win, they'd go to 8-3, and three, tying the Eagles atop the NFC East. Kickoff is set for 7-30, and you can catch the game on NBC. On the college football this Friday, Arkansas plays 17th-ranked Mizzou and will become the first team in college football history to play every conference game while their opponent was ranked in the top 20 at the time. Couple that with back-to-back -back shutouts of top 20 teams, and the Razorbacks will definitely play in a bowl game after winning their sixth game yesterday. It was an emotional senior day as Coach Bielema hugs Trey Flowers before the game. And on the field, the seniors and the defense shine. Senior Martel Spade's big hit forces the fumble, and senior Trey Flowers recovers it. But junior Rohan Gaines also helped out with this pick right here. Look at him go. He's going to follow his blockers. He would end up going all the way for a 100-yard pick six. The Razorbacks shut out number 8 Ole Miss, 30-0. They received the most votes of any team not ranked in the top 25. So they're on the brink of being ranked. And here's senior, senior Martel Spate on playing in his last home game. It was kind of sad. I mean, uh, I, I, th I blame my dad for that. Uh, came out the tunnel and uh, he started crying, and I started crying. And uh, it was just a emotional day for the whole team. Uh, you know, we're not gonna be on this field again all together, so we just went out there and put our hearts out. And good for Martrell Spate. But Jesse, every team in the SEC West is now bowl eligible, the best division in football for all sure. All right, yeah, definitely. That's some exciting news, and hopefully, you know, Mizzou. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> Mizzou, Mizzou goes. Yeah. Ends. All right, thanks, Gavin. Stay with us. We'll be right back.